this video, let us focus on the control flows in Python. We will be starting with ifs, going ahead with uh, conditional operators, ternary operators, understanding what are different logical operators. So let's start with ifs. The very simplest example I can give you for ifs is like a toss in cricket match. You know when Rohit Sharma goes for the toss and based upon the pitch condition, they flip the coin and they decide whether based upon the toss output, if, it, if they have won or they have lost, they take the further decisions. Same way, as you can see, I have got if block, then we write a condition and we write it with a colon here. And then after the colon, we have to give an indentation. This indentation decides like whatever will be executed after the condition is true in my if. Then I go to the else, which will be when my condition here is false, this particular block of statements will be executed. Now, depending, for example, in a real situation, consider we have got state and based upon various state, like we have got Maharashtra or Gujarat, we define what are the tax rates. So here we can give, give a condition to match the state and accordingly we can write this out. So let's try this out practically now. So let us write a very simple application. As I said, if, if my condition is true, let's say I write specifically, I'll write it true. So see, the moment I press enter, it gives me an indentation. So this indentation is nothing but it is showing me how I will write my application. So I say if true, and then after my if true, I say let's say print condition is true. Okay. Then I have got else. And I say print. And here I'll say my. So I will obviously never reach here, right? Condition is false. Yeah, condition is false. So let me. Okay, let us try to execute this. So if I say Python space control flow, it says condition is true and it will always be true. So if I change this for a bit, let's say print 40 times a hyphen. So now I let us take a number. Let me mark it as three. And then I say if my number mod 2 equals equals 0 I will print that this is an even number else I will say print this is an odd number simple logic to understand yeah, even if and else so this is an odd number so this is cool plus we can use multiple uh, operators. So let's use some operators like what are the different operators I know. Yeah, let's use some of them. So we have got uh, greater than, greater than equal to, less than, less than equal to, double equal to, and not equals. So these are certain operators which are available in Python. So we have got greater than then greater than equals then we have less than and less than equals so this is less than this is less than equals this is equals and this is not equals okay. so we can combine use this operators like how for example if let's say i have a is equal to 100 and b is equal to 200 so this time what i'll say if my a is greater than b then I can simply just say print A is greater than B. Okay. And then I can apply the else. And I can just copy paste this. See that semicolon is optional. You give it, you don't give it, doesn't matter. Let's keep it simple and not give it. So I'll say this time B is greater than A. So I'm using the formatted string again here. 
if you're not aware of formatted string please check out the video which is being showing in the eye icon or you can check it in the description so 200 is greater than 100 it is printing here 200 is greater than 100 just for formatting sake let me add this up here so you can use the conditional operator this was the arithmetic operators we had now we have got conditional operator where we can use and and or uh, like in a proper uh, statement so how we do that so we have got three type of conditional operators they are called as what and or and and or and not so this is when you want to combine multiple conditions together consider we are creating a loan processing system now you see this hash this hash is nothing but a comment yeah so in python when you need to write a comment you use a hash symbol so this is just for your usage it will not be processed i create three variables let's say high income high underscore income is let's say false okay then i say good underscore credit is equal to true and then I have got is underscore student is let's say true. So my condition is print let's say 40 times will print the hyphen symbol. So what happens here if I have high income and now I want to combine a condition and good credit. So I will say eligible for loan else they are not eligible for okay. so if i try to execute this now see they are not eligible for loan why is that so they are not eligible for loan why because i high income was false and good credit was true so both of them have to be true if i want to work it out with my execution uh, and operator requires you to do what uh, like you know the gates right as you can see on the screen and an or gate and not get as well so uh, how exactly it looks like for and condition to be true both the sides has to be true yeah so next let us see an or condition I say if my income is high or good credit any one of them should be true and if they are a student so what will I do is see I will also try to club a situation so I will say if high income or good credit and they are a student so in this situation again they are eligible for loan else not eligible for loan okay. so they are not eligible for loan in this situation so here now they become eligible for loan why because one of them is true and then we are combining with this student which was already a true value so this way we can use the uh, conditional operators with and and or logical operators basically with and and next i want to talk about ternary operators in python so ternary operators unlike other programming language where we have question marks and colons here we write the output first like what will be returned if the condition is true then i write if then my condition then I write else and what will be returned if my condition is false. So ternary operator is quite straightforward. Let's uh, try to put it in practical. So I let's say ternary. Let's put it in this way. Print multiplied by hyphen then ternary. Ternary operator. Then print okay. 
So what will happen is like I'm just formatting my output here. Yeah, ternary operator. So after this ternary operator, let us write uh, simple terms like what if I have age? So age is 19 and if my eligible age is, should be greater than 18. So how will I write the ternary operator? See, first without ternary operator, if I have to write this, I'd have to say if age is greater than 18, then I'll say print and say eligible age. Else print non eligible age. But this is how I have to write. See how if I can convert this whole statement into a single statement, how will I do that? Let's say what is my message I want to give out that eligible age is if my age is greater than 18. So this becomes my condition. This becomes my condition. So if my condition else non eligible age and now if I print my message, what happens now? Let's see. In the ternary operator eligible age yeah print out for eligible age so if age is greater than 18 else it is non-eligible age so this is how your ternary operator works like looks like and it's easy last thing what we need to check out here is about the chaining operators so how do we have the chain operators so here let's say i have got in my chaining operators what do i need uh, I have to check for my age, like the condition is age should be between 18 and 65. Let's say. So in that situation, what will be, how will, we have seen how do we apply that, right? First is we'll say if age is greater than 18 and age is less than 65. Then we'll say it is print, it is eligible age. But Python, yeah, but Python allows you to see it is giving me that it is an eligible age. But Python allows me to do what? To chain this operator as well. How can I do that? Same thing, I'll just copy and I'll show you. Like we used to do in mathematics. So if age is greater than 18, so I can change this out to this 18 age. 65 that's it this way what is happening here now we are saying the age should be greater than 18 less than or equal to 65 we can also make it less than equal it should be greater than equal to 18 less than equal to 65 and it is an eligible age with chain operator okay now let's see if i get that output yeah. Eligible age with chain operator and if I change my age to let's say 17. So what happens this output should change now. Non-eligible age and here we don't have any message why because we never wrote an else block. So this is how you write control flow operations in Python using if else ternary operators and so on. Next video we will be exploring about loops and iterables. So thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends.